Hurricane Irene is coming! How high is the water, mama? Two feet high and rise. How high is the water, papa? She said it's two feet high and rise. All right, so here we are, Ocean City, Cape May County, New Jersey, and they uh, issued a mandatory evacuation for the entire county this morning. And uh, I'm not so sure I really want to go anywhere because, well, I'm afraid of getting back on the island once the evacuation's over. And two, um, everything I've read really doesn't make this thing sound too bad by the time it gets up here. Um, all my friends and family are urging me to leave. So this is my first time out of the house all day. So let's walk around a little bit, check what's going on. Here's the entrance to 30th Street Beach. Usually it's uh, pretty active. Ice cream men usually selling ice cream out here on pedal bikes. And uh, people walking up and down the beach with umbrellas and chairs and such like that. Not today. Completely barren. And here's the rich motherfucking house that is right next to it. And it's the only house that I see around here that is boarded up. You know, it's got uh, boards over the main window there and everything like that. Uh, over there, they got some tape on the windows. I didn't know that that actually helped. But that's the only little bit of storm preparation I've seen so far. Walking up to the beach, you can hear the surf actually from my house, which is pretty rare. Last night was pretty calm, uh, but uh, it's sounding pretty rough right now. But that should be expected, considering that thing's supposed to be making landfall any moment now. So as we come over the ridge, uh, yeah, looks about normal actually. I guess I'm just hearing uh, the waves a little bit better because there's no noise going on. Uh, I can see that the water is coming up a little further than it usually does, but the waves uh, don't look that bad. Probably a strong undercurrent. I'm not fucking around with that right now. Let's view the city. Everything looks pretty quiet, pretty dead. I think I'm, there might only be like a thousand people left on the island. Maybe. I'm one of them. There's, there's another one of them right there. So, you know. It looks like there's somebody else all the way up there. Other than that, the beach is empty. This would, you know, Friday, last Friday of August, this beach would be packed. Not today. Walking back from the beach now, all the way down there, at the end of the street, uh, that's uh, Haven Avenue over there, and that is notorious for flooding out. Uh, we've actually had a couple of rainstorms so far this year where it just rained like really, really heavy, but for like a half hour or so, and that thing got about like a foot of water. You know, there's been uh, there's a couple of places like that on the island, but where I live. Is actually pretty safe. Um, we never really got flooded out in the time that I've been alive. So I really don't think there's too much to worry about there. But down there, that's going to be flooded definitely. But uh, if it floods up to my house, you know, or my grandfather's house where I live, I'd be very, very surprised. This is Asbury, one of the busier streets on the island. And uh, once again, really nothing boarded up right now, um, but definitely getting that calm before the storm feeling. Oh, there's somebody right now. Um, once again, really, really quiet out here, but I'm not really seeing any anybody really taking any real precautions and protecting their houses, you know, at least from the exterior. But, you know, it's about time I rolled back into my house and started making my own precautions. Alright, so this is the house, and uh, just look around real quick, see what we should do here. Obviously, uh, lock up the windows, make sure they're all closed up. Um, that was my dinner tonight, can of Progresso. Uh, once again, trying to lose weight. It's only 80 calories, yay. Um, don't think I need to get the uh, fridge out of the way. Um, here we go into my room, a little more prep needs to be done here. It's my computer and everything. Probably need to pack that up uh, just in case I need to leave. Um, uh, should take out the AC unit. Um, maybe get something from the windows. Move the TV away from the window. That'd be a good idea. Uh, just make sure all the electronics are unplugged and everything. This next one's gonna be the nightmare. This is gonna suck. An old school HD TV, which probably weighs about 400 pounds, 
It's bigger than I am. Right in front of the sun windows in the sunroom. This entire room is going to require the most work. All my rock band equipment over there. Eh, all this shit all over the place. I'm going to have to do something about that. Going to have to move in all the furniture from the deck. Make sure that doesn't blow away. I got trash can outside. I should probably move that. Ah, plants. Plants need to be watered, actually, now that I remember it. Um, I'll go into the other room here. Here in the closet, I have the entire online store. <sighs> Everything that we sell is in this closet. And a bit of a mess, too, actually. I should probably clean it up. But it is away from anything that could potentially cause damage. I mean, that window goes into the living room, actually. Um, so I don't think I have to worry too much about this, but just to be safe, I might move them all under the staircase because I don't want, you know, because we sell a lot of our stuff on consignment, I don't want this shit to get fucked up. Alright, so I'm back by the bay right now and, uh, the sun is setting down and, uh, once again, can't, can't stop commenting about how quiet it is right now. Um, I've been... Reading the weather reports, I got most of the house uh, squared away, but I've uh, been reading the weather reports, and uh, I honestly don't know what I'm doing yet. I mean, some reports say it's not going to be that bad by the time it gets here. Others say it's going to be terrible. We're going to be looking at, like, six-foot storm surges and such like that. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I might make a call tomorrow. I, I just don't know just yet. But, um... I wanted to come back here to see if the, you can actually see the sun setting, but it's still a little too cloudy. Fish are jumping. Um, but it's got this weird, eerie orange glow that it's just casting on the entire town right now. It looks really kind of spooky. And on top of that, these, these cloud you know, formations, I've never really seen anything like it, all wispy like that and everything. Um, hoping for the best tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to probably play it by ear, see what happens. I got people who are offering to put me up should it get really bad. And I've never really seen the bay this calm, this quiet. There's no boats. You know, there's no movement in the water whatsoever. It's getting a little spooky, guys. It's getting a little spooky. So here we are, about 6.45 in the morning. Yeah, I'm up that early because I'm kind of used to it because of my day job. Um, as you can see, the ocean is a little bit rougher today. It's not the roughest I've ever seen it. Uh, but once again, probably still a really strong undertow there, so I'm not, I'm not even trying. Um, beach is completely empty. Uh, usually in the morning you'd see some uh, joggers, uh, and some people just kind of strolling. Maybe somebody will sneak their dog down here, you know, even though dogs aren't really allowed on the beach this time of year. Um, real thick haze. Can't really see the end of the island. Only a light drizzle so far, and the wind is not that strong yet, but when I check the radar, right there, that's the outer band of uh, Irene right there. It's, it's here, it's getting here, but it's not quite smacking us in the face yet. Over there on 29th Street, they usually have a bunch of catamarans just kind of sitting on the beach. It looks like they took them out, and they even uh, bulldozed the entrance to 29th Street because it's pretty flat. They probably don't want any flood water coming in, but uh, right now, you know, it's coming. It'll be here soon. And I'm braving it all by myself. And if it gets terrible, I'm going to leave. But right now, you know, can't really make that call because it's not even here yet, really. It started to rain a couple hours ago. Um, hasn't really been too bad. I mean... You know, you know when the uh, rain is bad in Ocean City because you'll start seeing like rivers in the street. Um, not really seeing that yet, um, but at this point, people are kind of getting scared for me. As you can see, yeah, there is no cars left, and people are getting scared for me. They want me out of the town. 
uh, saying we're going to get hit directly. I don't know. Everything I'm seeing on the news, you know, it made landfall in North Carolina. Um, it made uh, it, it's starting to weaken a little bit from what the news said, but uh, you know, right now it's just rain, not really too much wind. Uh, but I'm gonna be watching the storm, and if it gets bad, I'm out of here. Uh, I'll go back to Pennsylvania for the night. Um, but it's not too bad so far, you know. Uh, but then again, uh, the worst if it's not here yet. down by Haven Avenue. As I predicted, it is completely flooded out. It's under about six inches of water right now. This is normal. This happens a lot. But if it's like this now and the worst isn't here yet, I'm starting to think that if I don't want my car flooded out, I'm probably going to have to leave soon, within the next couple hours. So, better get moving. All right, so, making probably the worst decision of my life, I have decided to stick it out as long as I could until it got bad. Well, it is bad now, and I am now deciding to drive through Irene to get back to Philadelphia. Wish me luck. It appears that the 34th Street Bridge is still open. It has not been closed yet. Looks like we're making it out of here just in time. Now, the big question is whether or not the, uh, the Garden State Parkway is still going to be open to northbound traffic. I heard that they were going to be shutting it down. We're in the marshlands right now. That sign is shaking. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that sign is shaking. I kind of felt a little antsy driving by it. There's nothing to break the wind right now, so I'm fighting some really heavy wind gusts right now. All right, so here we are back at uh, Pennsylvania at my grandfather's house in Havertown. And, uh, yeah, as predicted, once I got on the Atlantic City Expressway, it was not nearly as bad as it was uh, paralleling the coast. Um, I hope the house is okay. Right now, the plan is, is that I want to be the first back on uh, the island tomorrow, because otherwise, it's going to be a mad rush of people trying to get back in Cape May County. And uh, I'm hoping I have work in the morning on Monday. Otherwise, you know, it's going to be pretty crazy. So, I'm going to call tonight. I'm going to unpack a little bit. Um, but my grandfather's going to be uh, surprised to see me. You have got to be kidding me. The big bad Hurricane Irene that was supposed to lay waste to the Jersey Shore 
We're supposed to make landfall today. And you know what the weather's like outside right now? Bam! Yeah! I wasted $50 to go back and forth between here and Philadelphia because I was afraid that my car was going to get flooded out. And the flooding got no worse than it was on Haven Avenue yesterday when I recorded that video. And that's the equivalent of how it is on a mildly bad thunderstorm. You want to see the excessive damage that Hurricane Irene caused in my area? Bam and bam! Yeah, that's right, it knocked down a branch on the dunes. At least there was one thing noteworthy to come out of this. Traffic, uh, no shortage of incredibly, uh, well, I'll bite my tongue, people who've been coming out. We're talking about dozens of people who have walked by me. And to be honest, I'm pretty much speechless. Well, it's five feet high and rising.